Hi guys, I'm Josh, and this is my 1966 Chevy C10, imported all the way from Canada. Should we take a look? So, Original Chevy C10, we've got a 250 straight six, 4.1 litre engine in it, pretty original, real nice and clean. Uh, it's on full air ride system, very manual, very basic, lovely system. Obviously we've got the white walls, we've got the centre caps, clean paint, I mean look at the paint. Magic, chef's kiss. So as you can see obviously we are slammed on the floor, we've got some camber on the front and we've got straight on the back. This is just a manual air ride system, we've got a bag on each corner. Um, and all it does is we've got two switches and single gauge, two needle. It just controls the front and the back. So obviously I can drive it high, keep it nice, speed bumps, potholes, not a problem. And then when we stop somewhere, go to a show, go to the petrol station, air out, scene points are all on me. So that's just how we've got to do it. But very simple system, nice air tank covered by the air ride. We've got one compressor, airlines are basic, very basic system, real easy to use, not much to go wrong, better than all the electrics. You can't chuck electrics in these things. They're too old, aren't they? Uh, a lot of it's original, so obviously I've got the original seat, the original wheel, most of this trim is original. I mean, 55 year old trim, I mean, how are we doing that? I mean, 55, 55. Bed's a little, it's okay, it's nice, it's stained, it's lovely, but the barrel's my favourite thing. Obviously, you gotta have a side shooter, it's American. So most of this started probably a year ago sort of time, we were looking and we went to Tatten Stars and Stripes around the corner, what a hell of an Americana show. We did that and I just fell in love with the trucks. Um, I couldn't get it out of my head, so all I'd spent my entire days doing was searching through eBay, Craigslist, and then loads of different websites trying to find the one. And this popped up on eBay on bids, and I had to have it, and that's just how we ended up. So a month later or so, we ended up chatting, FaceTiming the guy, lovely bloke from Canada. I took a real big gamble, sent some money via PayPal, don't recommend it, and the rest is history. We're all here now, aren't we? So it's all fine, it's all fine, it's all good. Again, a lot, of it's, a lot of it's original, I can't really knock it. I mean, you've got a beautiful paint job, you've got beautiful metal. The bumpers are the better, you can get the farm bumper. This is the really nice bumper, we're just missing the beauty plates, but we'll not talk about that. Um, obviously, original hooks, original chrome wear. Every trim piece is 55 year old, you can't knock it. And the paintwork, again, is, I, I keep saying it, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Should we take a look at the engine? Precautions. Eh. So, not the cleanest part of the truck, but it's got character. This is what it should look like and what it should smell like. I wish you could smell it, it'd be great. But you've got that original 250 straight six, 4.1. We just upgraded it a little bit to make it run clean. Obviously, we've got a Filter King from Tweaks. We've got the air cleaner, we've got the K&M breather filter. We've got some nice brake lines. We want it to stop, we want it to run, we want it to be clean, we want it to drive. That's all I wanted. So, ignore the oil, ignore the pipes, ignore the cable ties, that's just how we roll. But it doesn't need to be perfect, this is original. This is American, this is how it should be. <laughs> so obviously, I got this probably, I think it got delivered December time, um, and obviously I, there was a few bits I didn't know were meant to be done. So we ended up doing a big build on it, so I had to do a bed off, fuel lines, air lines, move the bags, move the fittings, uh, clutch kit, everything to go with it. It had a floor in it, it had the C-notch welding, obviously big up weld works. Uh, and a lot of people that helped me out, but obviously it was a lot of months and nights of trying to get this right. So I didn't have a long deadline I had from January till April, and that was to build it, MOT it, and get it registered and get it on the road. So uh, somehow in four months, I managed to do every night and every hour possible, tiers, the lot, you name it, we've done it. And then we've now smashed probably about 3,000 miles in it this season. We've done some of the big shows. We've done the, the Modified show, we've done the Ultimate show, Culture Shock, we won Best in Show at that plus four four we got top 20 it's 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 unbelievable we're winning awards I just it wasn't what I expected this year so for me doing the build and obviously now to this point that the gratification I'm getting from this is, is fantastic you know what I'm saying that's just how it it's it's unbelievable the I thought it'd just be a nice look and you know get a bit of attention in the car parks but this thing's just taking the storm and it's the best thing I've ever bought so I can't I can't knock the thing obviously some of the biggest companies we're working with now obviously we got you know we've got Starner Glass going on I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of these lovely people and everyone's coming together obviously a lot of stuff come from tweaks we're doing really well here and everyone seems to love it so I can't I can't knock it I can't knock it I love it I absolutely love it if you want to see more stuff like this guys please like comment subscribe give us a follow check us out turn the post notifications on and you'll see more of this all the time thank you very much